Edward is um, the uh, reluctant vampire who falls in love with um, Bella Swan. He was turned into um, a vampire by uh, Carlisle, who he's now kind of adopted as his father figure uh, when he was unconscious and both his parents had died and he was very much on the road to death and probably come to terms with death and woke up in this sort of purgatory state which he doesn't appreciate and um, and uh, he's pretty much fixated on uh, either dying or becoming human again and he doesn't see what the point of his life is at all in this vampire state he's I mean, he's just trying to find some kind of meaning. I mean, the, he, he, he just sees absolutely no point to his life at all. And um, I guess when Bella arrives and uh, he can have a connection with the living world again, which is basically one of his only options, is either die or connect with the living world. And Bella allows him to do that. And uh, he can see and feel again through her. It's quite fun when you're, when you're harnessed. I mean, doing essentially things that you could do as a human. I mean, humans can climb trees, but because of all this sort of rigging and stuff, you can just be completely reckless with it. Um, that's fun. Basically, the Collins, well, dictated by Carlyle. Carlyle still thinks that uh, even if you're turned to a vampire, you still essentially have a soul, which is against the general myth of what a vampire is supposed to do. Um, and so you can still have some kind of enlightened existence uh, and you don't have to go around killing everyone. It's strange because for two characters who obviously don't know themselves that well, like Bella doesn't really know why she's falling for this guy and like having these, this bizarre feeling and, and Edward definitely doesn't know hardly anything about himself. Um, and. Uh, and yet they both know that this is the, the thing and that's the, the completely un, unshatterable uh, fact that they both have to be with each other.